nondescript hotel in South Texas, I thought I'd fallen in love with a couple. There in the dim hallway with rugs that were clean enough, but darkly patterned to hide the stain, so who knows. Her back was against the wall, her arms up and around his neck. He was bent down to kiss her, to press his body into hers. Their bodies were fluid, two waves not crashing but moving through each other. I watched them from the other end of the hallway, surprised. I halted. Doesn't another's passion make us want? They never saw me. I didn't stay long and stayed silent. She was not his wife. His love was palpable. His hands were tender, not quick. Slow, not furtive. That press. I have been witness to such passion more than once and more than most. On a common street in Manhattan, in a nondescript descript restaurant whose patrons, too young to value discretion or quiet, spoke in loud voices and fell drunkenly over the tables. I saw a friend through the oversized windows, the street lit by random lights. He drew her up into his body. She was no friend of mine.